Hello Libra, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with a bonus reading here for you guys. You came in first as the most viewed video for the first half of May, so thank you so very much for the love and support that you have brought my way and to my channel. So I wanted to offer you guys a bonus message, bonus reading for whoever is in need of these messages, general advice as always guys, so please take from it what makes sense for you personally. And as always, release the rest if it doesn't make sense for you. So these are the two decks that I have been guided to use. And this is a brand new one that I've been gifted by Sister Moon Tarot. It's an awesome deck. So let's pull some messages from here first. And the Untold Truths of the Heart Oracle by Aqua Moonlight. And I will clarify with my tarot decks. And kind of just go with the flow of whatever decks I'm gravitating towards. So this is literally the very first time that I am using this deck. I haven't taken a look to see what the whole deck offers, but we're all going to find out together. So Libra, here we go. For your bonus reading, when it comes to a person you're thinking about, a connection that you're thinking about, whether it's a past connection, a current connection that's totally up to you based off of the messages that come forward for Libra angels and spirit guides please so very first message we have regrets somebody's taken a look back at the past the mistakes that they've made and it does say apologies so through these regrets Libra somebody wants to communicate say that they're sorry for what they've done, some sort of action that they really have some major regrets about. Okay, so let's go ahead and see. Some of you guys might also feel that you've got your own regrets about what happened in the past. Mistakes that you yourself have made in your life. Let's see what else. What else for Libra? We have adventures, fun, travel, excitement. For some of you guys, maybe right now, at the time that you're listening to this, you're either traveling or you're looking to book a trip somewhere real soon. That could be what's coming up for you maybe in the next month or two or somewhere down the line during the course of this year. This, I feel, could also be these past memories that you've shared with somebody, travels and adventures that you guys had together, all the fun that you had with this person. Let's grab maybe a couple more cards and then we'll clarify with some tarot here. What else for Libra? We have somebody who's very observant, watching, contemplative, paying attention. This reminds me of somebody, and I'm just picking this up for some of you guys, you're not with them. There's distance. Somebody clearly has regrets here. They could be keeping tabs on you somehow. Either you guys really live close to each other and they're stopping by to see if you're home or whatever, to see if your car is outside, that sort of thing. Some of this could be going on online where they're just checking out to see if have you moved on to somebody else? You know, what's life been like for you since the separation? And then we've got rocky, unstable, faulty. So there is an imbalance going on here. Okay, so let's see what this is about. Libra, I want to start with my Tanielu tarot deck here. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Libra for this bonus reading. So instinctively what I'm feeling here, guys, is a person that knows that they did wrong. They want to apologize for those actions. Maybe too much time has passed that they feel it's too much water under the bridge. Part of the reason why it was unstable to begin with, why things were unbalanced or just not in a good place between the two of you is due to some stuff that happened here between the two of you guys. Either they did something or there were some challenges that got in the way. But they, whoever is in this observant mode, 
has been thinking a lot of the other person, whether that is you or them, Libra. Maybe you're both checking each other out online, maybe. Stalking each other's social media pages. Keeping an eye on each other. You see here, we've got the Three of Swords. So there was some sort of heartbreak here. Look at the next card. We've got the Ten of Cups. This is somebody that you share a very deep bond with. You guys either were married or you really saw yourself committed to this person. I mean, this represents family, celebrations, marriages. It's just a very harmonious energy right there. You know, when you connected with this person, I'm feeling for some of you guys, it was almost like you felt like it was too good to be true because they represented such a perfect match for you. Three of Swords can sometimes be an indication of a love triangle. Take that if it's a part of your story, but it is reflected here. That could have been what caused the separation because there could have been infidelities in a relationship. Either somebody was already taken, maybe you guys were both in other situations and ended up crossing the line here. You could have met this person online. I'm just getting that for some of you guys. So there's some regret going on here when it comes to this type of energy with the two of ten of cups, not two of cups. Divine Feminine, you're coming in with the energy of the High Priestess here. Intuition. So I feel when it comes to your intuitive gifts and facing the truth of what's really happening here between you and this person, your Divine Masculine, you know what's really going on. Even if, you, even if you're not checking them out on social media, even if you haven't seen the, this person for a very long time. You guys are so connected, despite the breakup and separation that ultimately might have hurt you both. Despite all that, I'm kind of feeling here, Divine Feminine, you can still feel your Divine Masculine's energies. It's that close a bond that you guys had shared. Let's see what else here. So if you guys are meant to, for example, find your way back to each other, and now we've got a reverse card here. If you guys are meant to find your way back to each other, Divine Feminine, I'm just feeling here that it would be from the Divine Masculine taking action to be with you, or to at least communicate, to apologize take responsibility for their own mistakes and what contributed to this three of swords. So here we are with this reverse card. Ooh, seven of swords. Okay, well, in the upright, it's cheating. It's a betrayal. It's deception. Third party, love triangle, infidelity, trust issues, all of those things could have contributed to why this did not work out. And that's why they've got so many regrets because there were so many ways that this could have played out. You know, if somebody was, for example, and this is just an example, if somebody was married and you guys were really attracted to each other, but accepting the fact that that person was off limits and maybe you guys could have just explored a friendship and kept it that way. But I'm just ultimately feeling here that the attraction that you guys had to this person, it was just too intense that being in the friend zone wouldn't have worked anyway. That's just what I'm getting from that. So the seven of swords coming up in the reverse, it can still sometimes represent that same deceptive energy. However, it can also represent a person who at one point in time was being very deceptive and is now ready to come clean. That could be what the apology is. Just coming clean, 
and facing the music, so to speak, you know, it's like, I did what I did. I'm so sorry. And I would love for us to be able to recapture what we had. If that's ultimately the reason why you guys broke up. And then we've got the four of wands right here. So for some of you guys, the person you're thinking about could be your twin flame. This represents our 1111 number in tarot. It's a strong foundation. It's a harmonious relationship. Some of you guys, as I've mentioned, you were already married and there could have been infidelity in the partnership and that really rocked the boat. Isn't it interesting how it's right next to imbalance, rocky, unstable, and faulty. So the four of wands is here to help you guys restore a much stronger foundation because whatever this rocky foundation represented, it was knocked down by this three of swords. We don't have a tower card coming through here, but that's basically what happened here. Libra, this fell apart because of a faulty foundation in a relationship. For those of you who went into separation as a result of that, there's a possibility towards a reunion. This can still represent a celebration of some sort. For some of you guys, you might have broken up, but have the opportunity to come back to restore what you guys once had and lost and that it would come back even better than what you guys had. We do have the seven of pentacles coming through, wait and see, give it some time. And I know that some of you guys are probably getting a little bit impatient because you want things to get moving to maybe come back together with this person. It'll pick up eventually. Divine Feminine, you're also coming in as the Empress. Some of you guys could have already had a family. We've got the Ten of Cups coming through there, so it makes sense. Somebody could have already been married with a family. And so this broke up not only a relationship, a possible marriage, committed relationship, and family as well. But Divine Feminine, you know, you're coming through as this amazing Empress, somebody who is empowered to be able to attract all of the good things that life can offer, abundance. And perhaps your masculine still sees you in that way. That very alluring, nurturing energy that you exude, you know? And then we do have the star coming through here. Some of you guys could be dealing with an Aquarius. This is a fulfilled wish, as we can see. This is about hope. This is about restoring faith. This is about rejuvenating something that might have gone through so many challenges, a relationship that at one point just lost steam, you know? And I feel when it comes to either yourself, Libra, or the person you're thinking about, somebody is being guided back to the other person. Either you're being guided back to them or they're being guided back to you. But during this time that you guys are not together, the way I see the star card, it's also a card of self-care. To take care of you, to heal yourself. Whether physically, emotionally, spiritually, however way you need that healing. And when you're ready, you are being led down a particular path where this wish can manifest. Divine Feminine, you're also coming through as the Queen of Cups right here. So as you can see, we've got the High Priestess representing intuition, Queen of Cups representing a very similar vibe. So tap into your in intuitive nature, Divine Feminine, and trust what it is that you're feeling. Because when it comes to your masculine, as you can see, they're coming in as the King of Wands here. They, they've already pictured what life would be like with you. They still see that, despite this Three of Swords and whatever heartbreak and pain you guys might have gone through during the separation. They have this image in their head of what it is that they want to manifest with you, Divine Feminine. And they really are ready to take the lead to grab hold of the reins to really take this where 
it should have gone the first time. And then we've got the Seven of Cups right here, having many options, and perhaps they recognize this, that you don't ever have to take them back, that you have choices too that you can make. So there's no guarantee that you would ever take this person back. And there's no guarantee that they would ever take you back, depending on how it's making sense for your situation here, Libra. Everybody's got their own free will. You both do. And so it comes down to making choices for the betterment of this relationship to thrive once again. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab some additional messages here. It's going to pull from the Untold Truths of the Heart Oracle. So yeah, you guys have been through it. You've been through something challenging here. So what other lingering energies are coming forward when it comes to this connection for this bonus reading for Libra? Angels and spirit guides, please. Drifting, slowly parting, disconnecting, detaching. You know, maybe you feel it that they are disconnecting from you, even in the spiritual sense, you know? Because I'm already feeling you guys are in separation. You're not together. But look at what's next. Isn't that interesting? Spiritual connection. Exactly. The love is there. It always has been there. But because of something tumultuous in this partnership, like a three of swords, you know, where you guys went into separation, went through something very difficult, however difficult that might have been to separate and go your separate ways the connection, the spiritual connection was always there. In your hearts, I feel you guys are still in union. But in the 3D world, you guys are definitely apart. We didn't get a tower card from the, from the tarot deck, but we've got it coming through from this one. This upheaval represents that tower moment. Shock, the unexpected, representing the trouble that you guys went through. Or somebody that caused trouble that created a tower moment that created a separation but somebody's got regrets here over the fact that there were mistakes that were made more than likely having to do with outside influences third parties love triangles things of that nature because you don't experience something this heavy without something devastating the relationship. So let's add to this. I'll be pulling from my Valentine Connection Tarot. Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for Libra, for this bonus reading. Queen of Cups, once again, Divine Feminine, your intuition plays a huge role in what's going on here between you and your masculine. Huge. This is simply confirming here that you guys are not together. This is a time of healing. This is a time of recuperation. This is a time of being able to figure things out on your own, and that applies to the other person as well. You've been through something very difficult, that Three of Swords, and now it's time to take a break from that type of energy to restore your, your vibe, you know, to, to heal from something that painful. We've got very similar cards popping up here, guys. We've got the King of Wands. Here we are again with our Star card, okay? So very similar messages, simply confirming here. Queen of Cups. King of Wands coming through again. And then you've got the Star card coming up again. So it's simply reiterating the message that has already come through. That we have a Divine Masculine who's ready to take the lead. To perhaps take things out of the 5D and take it back into the 3D where you guys can reconnect and come back into Union. Ten of Pentacles, financial windfall, take that if it applies. So maybe monetarily, career-wise, 
finances could be looking up for you, Libra. In a love reading, the Ten of Pentacles for me represents a perfect match, a very strong bond between, between two people, which we feel right there with the Spiritual Connection card. They still feel connected. They still feel a very, very strong bond with you. Let's see what else here. For Libra, they definitely have a better understanding of what it is that they need to do to bridge the gap between the two of you. There's somebody here who realizes this whether it's yourself, Libra, or the other person. You know, it's it's like you're watching the ship sail away even further to where you can't see it anymore. And this breakthrough, this clarity right here, the Ace of Swords, it's giving a person the opportunity to face the truth of a situation that something heavy went down between the two of you. And whatever this upheaval was, the Ace of Swords is here to give either one of you the opportunity to cut out whatever contributed to that type of vibe. To start again. Nine of Wands. I mean, you've been hurt. You have been hurt. You've been wounded by this person. Maybe you guys ended up hurting each other. But the Nine of Wands is also an energy of resilience. Despite what you've been through, you're still standing. You are still standing. Page of Swords could be representing the masculine, really wanting to know what's up with the feminine. You know, we've already seen there's a possibility that you guys are checking each other out on social media you know, observing, watching, as we can see right there, paying attention to you. Maybe you guys are both checking each other out, but I'm feeling more so the divine masculine, really keeping tabs on the feminine here, wondering if I were to reach out to you right here, right now, would you be open to talking to me? Would you reject me? Would you give us another chance? And then we've got the ace of wands right here growth potential. I love it. This relationship, despite some of the ups and downs that you guys have been through, in a way the universe is offering you guys another chance. It's up to you both whether you take it or not. It's up to you, Libra, if you accept this person back in. And maybe it's the other way around for some of you, where it's up to them whether or not they would accept you back into their heart, into their life. But there's still so much here to be uncovered. There's still a lot of potential for this partnership. I feel the sparks are still here between the two of you. You know, we do have the death card here. So you guys are going through a transition. Something clearly came to an end. That's what that upheaval is. It came to an end. It's like a tower moment that brought that ending. But the death card, you know, yes, it represents an ending. It represents a new beginning as well. You know, to rise above, to be able to rise above those challenges, those tower moments, grief, sorrow, separations, heartbreak, rise above all that to come towards each other as two better people that have learned those lessons as to why it happened in the first place. So as far as what's presenting itself here, Libra, I really do feel you and this person have what it takes to at least be open to the possibility of trying again. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab some dialogue messages here for your bonus. Let's grab some cards from the Valentine Connection Oracle, which is the 
sister deck to the Valentine Connection Tarot. So focusing on the person that you are thinking about, what is it that they would want to say to you right now? For Libra, angels and spirit guides, please. I am so in lust with you. I mean, they, they desire you big time. They're very attracted to you. The next card, I want you and only you. I mean, clearly what we've seen in this reading is there were challenges and some of those challenges could have been infidelity and some poor mistakes, bad choices that were made, somebody choosing someone else. Okay, so... That could have been a real issue for some of you guys, but what they're telling you here is through their own growth, their own healing, their own clarity, they finally have opened up their eyes to realize you're the one that they want. Maybe they had to literally lose you to figure that out. What else for Libra? Distance or time cannot stop my, cannot stop my love from reaching you maybe you still feel their love you know in the 5d in your dreams however way that's happening let's grab a few more it was love at first everything for me you'll always come first forever and the thing is they didn't always put you first that was the issue that was the problem you know, because what we've seen in this reading is there could have been those outside influences that created that upheaval and that chaos. But there's been a shift in that energy. They're telling you here, I want you and only you. You'll always come first forever. So you will come first from here on out. That was a part of the lesson that they needed to learn let's grab one more from here one more card you are never far from my heart yeah they think about you all the time the mistakes they've made the regrets they have and if you guys are able to come to a middle ground you know some just common understanding of what it is that you're both wanting, then maybe you guys can find your way back to each other, you know? So wrapping it up here, Libra, let's grab some musical messages. I'm going to pull from both volumes here, my Heart Songs deck, as well as the Heart Songs of the 90s. Let's grab a song from each deck here. Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for Libra. So one song for the collective, for Libra, for this bonus reading here. Okay, well, we've got two songs. Just to Hold You Once Again by Mariah Carey and Everything I Need from Aquaman by Skylar Gray. All right, so let's read through these. Do you know how it feels lying here without you, baby? You could never understand what's happening to me so alone nothing's real i just dream about you baby and forever wonder why you had to break free even though you're not my lover even though you're not my friend i would give my all to have you here so they're basically telling you that they're feeling very alone without you and again for some of you guys it might have been a very long time since you've interacted or even spoke to this person somebody broke free here somebody detached because there were some challenges in the partnership and they're basically saying i would give everything i have to be able to see you again to be able to hold you in my arms once again and then we've got this one born on the wrong side of the ocean with all the tides against you you never thought you'd be much good for anyone but that's so far from the truth i know there's pain in your heart and you're covered in scars wish you could see what i do because baby everything you are is everything i need you're everything to me Okay, so both of these songs, they're basically declaring their love to you. They've got some regrets, clearly. 
So if you resonate with either song, it's coming through there. And that pain, you know, pain in your heart covered with scars that might have something to do with past heartbreak before you guys even connected, you know, having to heal from prior relationships. And maybe somebody didn't take the time to heal from that. And so entering into another relationship as a broken person and ended up breaking your heart. Or it could, again, be reversed. It could be the other way around. Let's grab a song or two from the Heart Songs of the 90s to wrap up your reading here, Libra. So it hasn't always been smooth sailing, but I feel the love certainly is coming through here. I've been waiting for you guys next door. And we have Here by Kip Winger. All right, so let's read through these. I've been searching so long through this world, trying to find someone who could be what my picture of love was to me. And you came along. When I saw you, I knew you were the one the love that I've been dreaming of, okay? That's very complimentary to the messages that are already here. And then we've got here by Kip Winger. I wish a falling star could cause the world to disappear. All I want is to be all alone with you here. I need you near. Come along, we'll dream the day together, a virgin atmosphere. All I want is to be all alone with you. Look at us here, all alone in here. We'll dream the day together, the words will disappear. You make it all so new, I'm so in love with you. They're in love with you. They want you and only you. You are never far from their heart. And maybe these are things that they haven't had the opportunity to say to you, Libra. And I'm, I can't help but feel for some of you guys, these are things that you've been wanting to say to someone and you never had the chance or you didn't have the opportunity or you didn't have the courage to just say it. Okay, but it does seem here that the universe is giving you guys another opportunity to find your way back to each other. All right, so I will leave it there, guys, for your bonus reading. I hope there was something here that you were able to relate to. And if you're interested in your own personal private reading, that information is down below. Thank you guys again for coming in number one, for the love, the support that you've thrown my way and my channel. It is much appreciated. Thank you guys so much. I will see you real soon. Take care. <music>